And at that point, Peter stood and began to address the multitude and said, don't say that. We are not drunk as ye suppose. In other words, we are not drunk with what you thought we are drunk with. Whether we are drunk, yes, we are drunk. But we are not drunk as ye suppose. Let me tell you, the greater works generation is a drunken generation. Did you hear what I just said? Of course, not drunken with beer and spirits, but drunken with the Holy Ghost. Everyone who's been drunken, you understand that one of the first few things that happen to you is that you have a low risk perception. If you carry knife, you can hurt yourself. If you see gutter, you can sleep inside it. If you see a woman of easy virtue, you can even go and sleep with her. And wake up in the morning and ask yourself, what did I do? You know how it is. If you've ever been drunk, you literally want to go left. You know, I want to go left. But you will be going it's you that is saying that the person is going right because the person is actually going left. You are sure you are driving home, but you don't know how you kept running around Gariki up and down. Now, this is what it is. You will never step into greater works with your senses. You must be drunk in the Holy Ghost. People of God, let me tell you, drunk people don't use their senses. If your sense is still very active, you need to go and drink more. You know, the people of the world call it vodka, but we call it godka. You need to go and get high on the word of God. You need to go and get high in the Holy Ghost by speaking in other tongues. There are things you will say when you are drunk in the spirit. Another man should not try to say it because what is pushing you is not what is pushing them. There are phone calls you make after prayers that an ordinary man should not make. There are emails you write. There are demands you make. There are places you drop your CV and they are saying is it because of this God class you have. You have no idea I'm not the one dropping it. Something is pushing me because Jesus is about to make a name for himself. Until you are drunk, you will not lay hands on the blind. Until you are drunk in the Holy Ghost, you will not be drunk enough to be driving. And the Holy Spirit will say, stop your car. Go to that man begging for money by the roadside. Speak to lameness, the man on the wheelchair, and pull him up. You know, the reason why you are feeling you can't is because your senses are still at work. Drink enough to numb your senses. That feeling that tells you it can't work. Child, vacancy for greater works are for drunk men. Our substitute for drunkenness is the Holy Ghost.